My name is uh, Clarence Natamogan. Uh, my uh, position right now is Superintendent of uh, Environment, Licensing and Compliance at the MacArthur River uh, operation. Our, our entire environmental management system looks at all um, everything that we do that may have some form of interaction with the environment. Those are the, the, the aspects that we have to manage. Those are the aspects where we have to put controls in place so that we minimize uh, any type or any type of potential impact to the environment. That's just one part of what we do. Um, the other things with regard to uh, water treatment, um, mining productions, um, health and safety of individuals, all of that, again, we have programs that, that provide the controls uh, to mitigate risks associated with all of our activities under our licenses. I was born in, in Pine House, or I was born in Larange, but uh, was uh, raised in, in Pine House. Uh, my parents are from Pine House. Uh, I went to school in Pine House until grade 10, and I think from grade 10, that's the first time I, uh, I recognize now when I look back that what I do today uh, has, uh, has, well, was born out of what I did when I wanted to move to grade 10. There was no grade 10 in, in Pine House. Uh, we, uh, we had to go to Larange. We had to move to Larange. But I had family in Larange. And uh, from there, my pursuit of trying to finish grade 12 was what got me to Larange. And uh, the first step was doing things yourself. I, I, went, I went to Larange to live with my, my uh, aunt and uncle. So, and I knew them very well. Um, it wasn't difficult. The difficulty was trying to convince the school that it was more appropriate to go to school in Laurens than it was taking correspondence in a, I guess, a semi-high school, if you want to call that, through correspondence. So I figured, how do I get there? So I asked around who the big boss was with education. I wrote a letter to him, showed him, uh, or told him the pros and cons of having a correspondence education versus a practical education with a teacher, various classes that were available in Laurens and. Within a couple of weeks, I was mobile to Larange. I really enjoyed tinkering with uh, electronics and fixing little things that, you know, even at that age, um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to get into. But um, I guess my motivation to complete grade 12 at the time was, uh, was pretty much just for my mom. She wanted me to complete grade 12, and uh, primarily that was my motivation and really never understood what impact it would have on my, my career with regard to finishing grade 12. What I did do when I finished grade 12 was um, I did apply for instrumentation. Like I said, I like fixing little things, electronics and stuff. And uh, I applied for uh, instrumentation in Moose Jaw and was a few days late in the application. So I was told to apply again the following year. Uh, so when I moved back home to Pine House, uh, I looked for work. Uh, I got into a, a plumbing apprenticeship program um, and then did some work right in town. And then an opportunity came up with, uh, I believe at the time it was with a, a partnership between the province, SMDC, the mining companies. At the time, I think it was El Dorado and SMDC. They had a, a training program in Buffalo Narrows. So I took that, I saved all my money for my apprenticeship, bought myself a vehicle and moved to Buffalo to attend this uh, entry level position for uh, one of the mining companies. At the time, Camelco was pretty dominant uh, in the industry in terms of hiring northerners. I, I came back home and I finished the, the, uh, the course and uh, the, the companies said, well the rep representative for the mining company at the time, Don Bird, said, you know, you'll get the job, we just don't know when, right? And uh, I went back home to Pine House, got into construction, was on a coffee break uh, at a restaurant and the phone rang in, the, in that restaurant. I got called over to the phone and I uh, was offered a job uh, at Key Lake. That paid a little bit twice as much as I was making currently, so there was no way I was going to turn it down. I knew it was my, my, my foot in the door with the mining companies and, and I'd get my career going from there. 
It was pretty much an entry level position, uh, but uh, I am very uh, aggressive in terms of what I want to do with my life. And I figured once I got in, uh, I could get into specific, certain areas in the in the mining industry. I didn't know what all existed in the mining industry, but I knew that I had opportunities within the mining industry, within that company, to to uh, help my career grow. When I first got the job with Chemical, that was uh, late '89. It was November 21st, 1989, when I first started with uh, Chemical. I started here in MacArthur uh, December of last year, 2008, which was, you know, at the time when I came in, there was a lot of reporting requirements in terms of to corporate, to management, and it was an entirely new job, new responsibility, so it was quite challenging, but I managed to, make, to wade my through the, the paperwork and, and provide the necessary information. It was a good learning experience, too. So. If you sell yourself in terms of what you want to do and you commit to something, you have to stick with that commitment. That becomes your reputation. When I went to LaRange, um, I started the science class there, um, but I never followed through with the rest of the science classes. What I did pursue, though, was every math subject I could get my hands on. Uh, there was a, a gamut of you know, you get, you get general math, you get geotrig, you get geometry. I took all of those. Um, and it's helped me a great deal, even just in life in general. There's a lot of, lot of, lot of math skills that I use just, just to get by. Um, for sciences and stuff like that, that one year course that I took in LaRange uh, had so much chemistry in it that, and environmental discussions discuss with different types of parameters, um, you know, mine associated, uh, uh, I guess, chemical parameters, if you will. Uh, so I learned a lot through there. If I had that choice again, right, it'd be grade 12 to university. And uh, because this is a rather long route, it's worked out for me at the end. Uh, but at the end of the day, you still have to go beyond that if you want to continue progressing in your career. In our, in our culture, we have to recognize that living in a small community, you have a huge safety net. You know, leaving Pine House wasn't really a big deal going to LaRange because I had family there. So you still had your safety net. But once you leave uh, an area where you grew up in, you leave your safety net. And the fear is always this culture shock. You move to Moose Jaw, Regina, Prince Albert, or Saskatoon. Uh, you know, you get into a culture that's entirely different. And you're on your own. And I think that's the scariest thing. But you know what? There's a lot of help out there. And, and you learn lots from, from other cultures, from other communities, from other cities. Uh, it helps you grow in your career, understand what, understanding what's out there. Um, my primary advice would be when you leave grade 12, figure out what you like doing and then pursue that. Right? Not because it's a good idea to, to work here. Right? Try to understand what it is that you like to do and you know, tailor your, uh, your education to that. Uh, I think that would be the best decision that, that you can make. But don't stop at grade 12.